。我们开始了吗？你可以问的。Hello, Gisha, shall we start? Let's start. What the heck? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, 可是我看不到我共享的东西啊。Sorry. Can you guys see Xiaoping's homework? Yes. We can. Yes. Okay. And your thumb. <laughs> He doesn't want to show in the video. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. So should we do Manta opening? Yes, please. Yes. Sashi puki jushin meto chang rila ming shi ning de ganpa di sangge shin du mi te uagi. Jokun namda shingla chupa sho, idam guru namda mandala kamnia tayami, sange chudam soki chuch chuch soki cholam la, jangchu badu dani gapsushi, daki sungengi pe sunamgi. Jola penshe sangge chupa sho, sangge chudam soki cholam la, jang chu badu dami gap sushi, daki sungen ki pe sunam ki, jola penshe sangge chupa sho, sangge chudam soki cholam la, Jang chu ba du da ni gap su shi Da ki sun ngang ki pe su nam ki Jo la pen shi sang ke chu pa shu Ok, so let's do the quizzes. So first question. Uh, the master of Samuel Murray said that two things are required from the candidate during the ceremony. And what are these two? So does anybody remember? Desire to become a monk and a and request to become a monk. Uh, yes, but... I think yesterday's class, uh, they mentioned something more specific. The first one is more about the uh, thought. Can somebody remember? I think you are referring that it's mentioned that I want to get ordained to become enlightened and to be able to help all living beings. Oh, yes, correct, correct. And the second one then would be, uh, I keep them until I die or till I get enlightened. Oh, isn't the second one is um, the, the, all the people there are happy with this monk, with this candidate? Uh, okay, thank you. And please correct me if I'm wrong, Gesha, but in my memory, uh, two things that they need two things from the candidate during this ceremony is the first one in yesterday, no, in last Vinaya class, First one is that I want everybody here to have a pure thought, means pure state of mind and not random thought. The second one is just uh, uh, Brigitte mentioned that keep the motivation in mind that you want to achieve Buddhahood for the sake of all living beings. So that's why I, in order to do that faster, so I take on the vow of all ordination. Can I see right? Oh yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So the second question: There are over one hundred ceremonies of Vinaya, and there is one called all monks are in agreement that here got a big harmony going on. So when we go get to this main event of ceremony, if the master of ceremony does not say this word or he is not around. Then what should the vow master do? It's a very easy question. Say the word. He should take over. Great. Yes, great. Yeah, he can just take over and do this part of ritual and then we can call him master of the ceremony. Okay, the third question. Oh, sorry, what's the answer? 
and each of the monks in the ordination ceremony should have three thoughts and bring to their mind when and then we can move on to the ritual request so what are these three thoughts the, the ritual was correct uh, they should have love for the candidate and the third one i don't remember oh thank you Do you agree to do the ritual yes yes and they, they need want to have have a Sorry, I couldn't hear two persons speaking at the same time. They uh, all want to reach Nirvana. Yes, yes, correct. And just now, so we, sorry, I, I, maybe I accidentally removed the answer. Sorry, let me try. Oh yeah, here. So they must uh, all agree. Sorry. They must all agree to do the ritual. The second is that they have love to the candidate. Third is everybody wants Nirvana. Yay, thank you. Three Tibetan words. First one, very easy. Dekyang. Except for that, or as well as that? Candidate. Really? Oh, okay. Right, Yes, It means by him as well. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, Kyang means as well, and Dei means by him. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Sorry. And second one, Da. Place or put down? Uh, it's a it's a tense of the verb ndep. To give an answer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So one, Gong Xing. Huh. A main event. The main event. Yes, yes. Great. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Please ignore the, the part. That seems to be the, the word of the term. Yeah. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yay, homework. Yay. Over the plane. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You gotta thank stop you. your screen share, Allison. Shopping, you have to stop yeah. the sharing. Got it. <laughs> <clears throat> we good yeah yes. okay uh we're almost to the end of the monks uh ordination ceremony yay and uh it's very complicated uh so we just finished the solway lay the ritual of request there are many rituals inside the ritual so Solwele was the ritual of request where the somebody said, look, this guy wants to become a monk, okay? Tala, and at the end of that, we start the Jopele, okay? So let's go shopping Jopele. Okay. Jopele, tuk pashu, pashu, kang tak mi, Sopa de tak ni shung shik jeb supatang yang chopa ni pala sup ta pa shu shechone nga ma shing tu chopa ni pacha de ne chopa sum pala ngo o chopa tang chawa chopa tang chepa chop pe zig zam ndik ta in Shetang, Chawa Chope Zig Sok Zam Su Dompe Kie Suk Soki Dre Dra Leg Pa Chep De Nga Shin Pa Sum Pa Chow. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we've finished the, ri the rite or the ritual of request. And now we have the ritual of the, and kind of like announcements, okay, or pronouncements, okay? So we call it And it has three different parts, okay? And the first part, they got as a tu de bajou, which means what? Do you guys remember? Tu de bajou. Direct your minds? Yeah, 
I request that you direct your minds to what I'm about to say. So the, I don't know, the master of ceremonies probably is talking to the monks and he says, please pay attention to what I'm gonna say, okay? Anybody misupa? Sun. Anybody have a problem with this, this, these words? Yeah, if anybody has a problem with this ordination, then say something. Sung, okay? Sung <laughs> shik is the imperative, right? Do it. She jupa. So the first thing you have to announce, or the first thing you have to say in the right of saying is, does anybody have a problem with this, okay? Then he's gonna do the second pronouncement, okay? This is called the second pronouncement. Japanipala, uh, everybody please listen to me. And then he should do the second pronouncement as we described it above. And I'm gonna go over it with you, okay? Dene Jupasumbala. Then they should do the third pronouncement, okay? And the third pronouncement has three pronouncements. Okay, got it? So there's a request, the ritual of request we finished last class. Now we're doing the ritual of pronouncement. Uh, there were two pronouncements. The first one was, does anybody have a problem? The second was, we don't know. And the third one has three parts. The third one is, you should pronounce the essence, Mojipa. number one. Then number two, you should pronounce the action, Jawajipa. And then number three, Chepa Jipa, you should announce who's doing the action, okay? The doer of the action, okay? Siksa means uh, at this juncture, okay? <laughs> Me too. At this, in this juncture means at this point in the ceremony, there's three pronouncements you have to make in the middle of the third pronouncement, okay? Dita Yin Shi Dang. So, Jawa Jepe Tsik Zok Tsamsu. And when we have finished the pronouncement of the of the action, what's going on? Uh, there should be a uh, date, okay? Date. Uh, somebody has to acquaint the candidate. They have to let the candidate know clearly that their vows is started now, okay? The clock started now. The, the, they just got their vows, okay? So during that announcement, uh, which is the announcement of the action. Uh, somebody has to tell the candidate, let the candidate know, dot jepa, clearly that now you have vows, okay? Now your vows have started. They might snap their fingers, okay? And they say, now your vows have started, okay? So as we said before, there's three things that have to be said here. Now, this is very confusing, right? There's two statements. In the middle of the second statement, there's three statements. In the middle of the third statement, there's three statements, okay? So I went and got you some help, all right? Uh, this is by Yongzhen Yeshi Gyansen, who is, I, I believe uh, he's the one who wrote the famous uh, history of all the lamas of the uh, Lamrim. And here's his description, okay? And I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm just gonna describe it. We don't have to read the whole thing because it would take too long. And our author didn't want to put the whole thing here. So, but I'm just gonna read it for you, okay? I, here's the first statement, which is the statement of essence, okay? The statement of the essence, okay? All of you monks are in agreement. Please listen to me. Chelak Juna Soashu. If if I say anything extra, if I leave anything out, let me know. Kenan Timuram Sandusu, please listen to me. Ming Deshigyo de Kemba Ming Deshigyo again in the Yamadopatelne. 
this monk, this person wants to become a monk from such and such a abbot, from, yeah, vow giver. He's requesting that you guys make him a monk. Kepa Yang Lak, he is a male. Kepe Wangbob Dan Den, he has a male sexual organ. Lo Nisha Lang Lun, Yang Lun, he is 20 years old. Chugu Sum Dang Hun Se Kyang Tang, he's got all the stuff he's supposed to have. He's got the three robes and he's got his bowl. Parche Kichinam Kyang Yong Se Dako, he doesn't have any of the uh, obstacles that we asked him about. She Konanyi, and that's Absolutely, he's got everything. Therefore, therefore, because he wants to become a monk from you guys, if everybody's in agreement, let's all make him a monk. Let's make this guy a monk from this vow giver. That completes the request. Okay, that's the that's the request part that we did last class. Okay, that's all finished. Now we start the pronouncements. Okay, now we start the pronouncements. And this is actually the first pronouncement. Actually, let me know it starts here. Oh monks, please listen to me. This guy wants to become a monk from this vow giver. He has requested properly. Uh, he's a boy, he has a boy's organ, he's 20 years old, he has his three robes, he's got his bowl. He doesn't have any obstacles. That, and that's the first pronouncement. So it's pretty much a repeat, okay? It's a repeat of what we said before, okay? Now, here's the second statement, all right? Ming de shi giba di, kambu ming de shi giba ganilili, nyembu zoba sulna. What are we doing here, okay? Jawa jipa, the announcement of the, of what's going on. Okay, he says, we are making this guy a monk. All right, so that's called the pronouncement of the action. We just had the pronouncement of the essence, okay? All the essential stuff, okay? Then now we have the pronouncement of the action. We're gonna make this guy a monk, okay? Chawa Jipa. Then the third statement, okay? which is what? Who's doing this ordination? Who's the performer? Chepa, okay? If everyone's agreed, don't say anything. If you don't agree, say something. In the, when they announce the doer, which is the vow giver, okay? Then le chakpa, okay? Uh, then we have a real ritual, okay? Uh, a ritual has taken place and the guy is a monk, okay? <laughs> All right, so now this is his vow giver. The vow giver has given him vows. And that's all. And then Segul Kidajor. Okay. 20 bucks for Segul. Awfully quiet. Here's a Segul. Okay. That's a Segul. Okay. Somebody, the <laughs> vow giver snaps his fingers and the whole thing's over. Okay. Yay. Okay. My finger? He's, when he snaps his fingers, the vows are formed. Domba Ketsar, here, the vow has finished growing. When the finger is snapped, the vow has finished growing. Okay, now all of this stuff I just told you is not in your book. 
And I don't think we have to put it off, but we will think about it when we translate this part about the three pronouncements, okay? But don't worry about it. Uh, the last part says da leg per day. Somebody has to make the sign and let the people know we got, we got a vow. We got vows here, okay? So there's a long explanation of what's going on here. The essence is he requested, we, it, they agreed, uh, and then the vow giver gave the vows, okay? That's all. Three parts. All yeah. right. Yeah, sure. This this finger snapping tradition. Do you know where it comes from at the very beginning? Uh, the Buddha enjoyed snapping his fingers a lot, okay? <laughs> uh, like when he taught the uh, sixty-five seconds, sixty-five piece. He was always snapping his finger. So I don't know. It seems like it started with Lord Buddha. Cool. Thank and you. then later, when you play uh, hip hop, everybody's doing it. You know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go, Xiaoping. Okay. Uh, go slow and Stanley. No, that'll start a domestic fight. Uh, Utpala, can you correct her? Okay. Go slow. Okay. Day of two le ki jup tu la tu de par shu che la ge ndu. He zok shin nang na shepane de shin tu zin zin to shepe pa choto. Okay. Choto. Uh, they walk to after the finger snapping, right? Lake juktu. Juktu means the wrap up. We're going to wrap up the ceremony. Yay! But don't be so happy because then you have to go to 253 complicated vows. That's exciting. I don't know. You're going to get bored. You're going to wish you were in the ceremony. <laughs> okay. Here comes the conclusion of the ceremony. Tuktepashu means may everyone pay attention, turn your minds to the completion of the ceremony. Chela Genugi searching Nangna. If everyone's still in agreement, and if you all give permission, dot, dot, dot. Deishin de Jinto means we will consider him a full monk. So they, he didn't put the whole thing here. It just means if everyone's in agreement, then we have a full monk. He's got his vows, okay? Mm. Uh, please read, Detal. Okay. Uh, the four part ritual word, right? Mm. The four part ritual, including three requests. Okay, Siki. Here's Troa. We had it in the definition of joyful effort. To have, to have joy, to have happiness. Yeah, to be happy. Troa means be happy. Yeah, be happy. Troa. Uh, so, Lake Siki, Troa Kete. So, everyone should be happy. Uh, because of these words. Yay, we reached the end of the ceremony. Probably everyone has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, when they say, okay, that's it, guys, then everyone becomes very happy. Joakete. Joakete. And with this, okay, day, with this, we have trupa, the ngushi of the ceremony. Completion? We've completed the main event. Yeah, the main event is finished. Okay. Mushi Drup. The main event is finished. Okay. What? Of what? Of the ritual for full monk. Nyanzo. Okay. It's finished. Yay. Okay. But he wants to say one more thing. Here we go. Go slow. Who's 
Is it Udpala? Okay. Okay. Yeah, here. Thank you. Kya dear ka. Come dear. Oh, come dear. Come dear. Ka chipwa le. Kelchewa. Kelchewa le. Chipa pole. Chole. Kune. Kune. Chope. Kune. A perne. Chope. Zig rerela. Jup way. Ming. J. 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 Ming. A J. Ming. Ngum. Kampo. Ming. Gum. Poi. Kampoi. Kampoi. Ming. Kam. Gedung. Ki. Ming. Gendun. Gen. Gendun. Ki. Min ndi she kang yang rung wa che pa tang so we um chope so wa um so wa um chepe le kyang ru che pa tang kang ru kang ru che pa tang okay beautiful uh nice um come dear means uh, in this part where we're doing the main event. Kelchewala, there's something important that you guys should remember, okay? Kelchewa means important. Uh, the Le Chepapo, uh, the, the master of the ceremony, the people doing the ceremony, okay? Le uh, Chepetsik, when they say the words of the pronouncements, the ritual of pronouncements, Oh, and by the way, I wanted to make a note here. All of these divisions are not in the ritual, mm -hmm. okay? These are later writers who are trying to make sense of the ritual. So they broke it up into small pulp pieces. It got more and more complicated. The ritual is very simple and clear. Mm -hmm. And then everybody said, oh, look, there's six, there's 11 things going on here. And they, they, then they got very complicated, okay? The actual ritual is very smooth and, and sweet. Uh, okay, so Rerila, as you uh, describe these different steps, Jupche Ming, you should keep repeating the name of the Jupcha. What's that? Candidate. Yeah, the candidate's name. Uh, and you should keep repeating the vow giver's name, okay? And you should keep repeating the names of the monks who are witnesses, oh. okay? Uh, so in the actual ceremony, it's kind of like an empty line, dot, dot, dot. In the actual ceremony, they'll say, this candidate named, and then there's a blank spot in the ceremony, and you're supposed to fill in the candidate's name. Is taking full monk's vows from the abbot, from the vow giver whose name is, and then there's a blank in the ritual. And you're what this is saying is don't forget to fill in the people's names, okay? That's your problem. You, he has to say his name. The abbot, the vow giver has to say his name the different monks should have their names, okay? Uh, this champa usually means cut. Chepa. Uh, but I take it as shepa. Uh, you should explain mm -hmm. the names or you should state the names in the proper places, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you should explain to the candidate, look, this section is where you're requesting vows. And this section is where we are pronouncing about your vows, okay? You should do that. And here we go, last thing, yay! Chupcha. Chupcha nian zoki dompa kewe do mi shena dompa mi kewa gyawe kawe zawe zawe Kam lok gang gang dung tang cha pa tang jup che pa tang che pa tang jup che zu ndi la te 
bed, 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 day, dream, pa, ciao. Okay. Uh, and so you should tell him, this is who's here. This is what's going on. This is what you're asking for. This is what's going to be done during the ceremony. And then these are the questions we're going to ask you. These are the obstacles we're going to ask you about. And this is the moment at which you got your vows to, okay, to. This is the moment at which your vows grew inside of you, okay, of a full monk. The candidate should know all these details. Like when we give a tantric initiation in the Diamond Mountain lineage, uh, we require you to study the ritual before. And we require you to study your vows before. So you know what's going on in the ritual and you know what vows you're committing to. And, and I think it's a big mistake if the person taking a tantric initiation or the person getting vows doesn't know what's going on in the ceremony or doesn't know what their vows are, okay? Uh, so in the Diamond Mountain Tantric tradition, we teach the people before, this is what each part of the ceremony is, and these are the vows that you're gonna get. Why, okay, why? Here, beautiful, Mishina. If the candidate doesn't know the details of the ordination, if the candidate doesn't know the vows they are taking, Domba Mike. They don't grow on him. The, the vows will not grow, okay? It's like planting a flower or something, okay? It, it's like the fertilizer and the water, okay? If the, if the candidate doesn't know what's going on in the ritual, and if they don't know what the vows are, then Domba Mike. Here's a crucial point in your text, okay? The vows will not grow. They can go around with robes on for the rest of their life, but they don't have vows, okay? The vows never grew during the ceremony, okay? And that is totally selwa. Clear. Clear. <laughs> yeah, it's clear from the Buddha, okay? Selwa means it's totally clear that they won't grow, okay? Therefore, okay, therefore, the vow master all the different masters, ceremony masters, secret master, and those other monks who are there to make enough monks, right? Extra three monks, all of those guys, and the candidate, you have to work hard to understand what's going on in the ceremony. You have to work hard to know your vows. Jimba means, you know, focus. Jimba means like if you're driving your car and you start to look around and you're not paying attention to the road, your, your teacher will say, Jim, Jim, she, da. Jim means focus. You're going to get in a car accident, you know? So Jim means everyone should try to keep in mind what's going on during the ritual. They should know all the parts of the ritual and they should focus on it and not be distracted during the ritual. Otherwise, the vows won't grow, okay? So this is the last advice from your, your writer, your author. And he, he says, look, if, if everyone doesn't focus and really pay attention to their motivation, and if everyone doesn't know what's going on, the vows won't grow, okay? And with that, we've completed the mushi. Okay, with that advice, we, we finished the mushi. Okay, that's the main ritual. It's done. Yay! Okay, so now let's keep going. Okay, uh, Utpala, you're doing really good. Let's, let's do it some more. So the vows won't grow inside of the monk if other people do not have that view? No. Not really, but uh, particularly the candidate has to gym, okay? Thank you. Okay, here we go. Juki. Juki Chokala, ni 
ni yo te yen ku ki ne tang ne ma in pa she pe tong tu tu sok cho sok cho tu ko tu ko tu ko cho pa tang dong pa to pa mi niam xing peo we dong tu tam na cho pao cool okay Juki Choga means uh, the ritual for the conclusion of the of the ordination. Okay, so juk means the uh, conclusion of the ritual. Okay, it's actually the ritual for the conclusion. Okay, so for the ritual of the conclusion of the ordination ceremony, there are two important parts. Ni yete. Okay, ni yete. Okay. Uh, now let's skip down to here. Okay. Say uh, shopping, say tuko jupa. Tuko jupa. That means an announcement of the time so that the candidate will understand. Okay. The announcement of understanding the time. Okay. What's that mean? Anybody want to guess? In that, how long they keep the vow? Nope. Is it for rank? The whole exact time exactly. yeah it's the announcement of the minute that he got his vows oh. you like, got your, you got your vows at 9 33 on saturday the 23rd of may or whatever it is okay all right and 2020 so they will actually they have to note the exact time note the exact time and as word said, uh, it's very important because whichever got their monk's vows first is supposed to be respected by anybody who got their monk's vows later. So if you got your monk's vows in America at 846 and somebody else in Russia got their monk's vows at 845, then uh, that's an older monk then the 846 monk has to respect the 845 monk for the rest of his life. He has to go get food for him. He has to make tea for him. He has to clean up his room. So it's, it's important, okay? Like, and by the way, it doesn't matter if you're 90 years old. If you're the 845 monk, sorry, if you're the 846 monk and some monk who's 20 years old is the 845 monk, he's older. He's senior, okay? He's a senior monk, okay? So this marking the time is called Tugo Jipa, okay? The announcement of the time, okay? Now let's read backwards from there. You have to announce the time, Tugo Jipa, because Dundu means it's for the purpose of Shepa, understanding who has to pay respect to who, okay? <laughs> So Nyankur means respect, and Ne means who is a place of respect and who is not a place of respect. But it doesn't mean that the senior monk should disrespect the junior monk. It just means that we must check the time because later it's going to be important uh, who should respect who for who gets to eat first, who gets their tea first. Who gets to walk in front of the other one? Okay, uh, that's gonna dundu. It's for this purpose. It's for this purpose that who has to pay respect to who? Okay, actually, all monks should respect all other monks. And later, we're gonna see a thing called nyamba, which means all monks are equal. But it's a custom that a person who became the monk earlier should be nyankur should be respected by the monk who got the vows later, okay? So we must mark the time carefully, okay? Jepadang, yeah. okay? So that's, there's two parts to the end of the ordination. Number one, somebody has to check the time and announce it. Number two, somebody has to give damgak. Advice. Yeah, somebody has to say, okay, look, now you got your vows, but 
be careful, keep your vows, you know? And it's a kind of a advice time, okay? And it's the last part of the ordination. They give advice to the candidate. Uh, what about, uh, you shouldn't break your vows, nyam. Okay, you shouldn't break your vows that you have received. Tomba topa means you will receive these vows. Minyam, don't break them. And try to make them grow, 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 bigger, bigger, bigger. Okay, that's pelwa. Okay, so we're going to give them the second part of the end of the ceremony. We have to tell that now he's not a candidate anymore. He's a new monk, right? We have to tell the new monk, uh, look, please don't let your vows get messed up. Nyam. And please try to make your vows grow bigger and bigger. You know, keep them more and more sweetly. Okay. All right. So, tambo ni is what? Shopping. What's tambo? First. It means number one. First, right? What is first? What's the two parts of the end? Mark the time. Yeah, somebody has to mark the time. So here's a long explanation of how to mark the time in the ancient days before cell phones. <laughs> okay. So please read. We're going to go slow. Where? Uh, and Beth is correcting. Tamboni. Tamboni. Ni drip zok pa. Che we sa. Char we. Char we. I'm sorry, yeah, so. Sell in my chat in the ge pa cha. In the pa che. Pa che. Dan mo in na ming kya. She pa ta ki. La wa kang la. Da wa. Da wa. Da wa kang la. Kyu ka kang ki dan kya. We ju kya de kang de ka kong. La pa te dan moi tun zok ge pa. Su nye pa. Nye pa. Nice. Okay, good. This is difficult. And you can see I, I put a lot of notes from myself. Uh, so here's how you take the time. Okay. Nibdik zope jopar charwe sa. Nibdik zopar charwe sa. Okay. Choose a place like a broad, flat place, like where I keep my bees, right, shopping? Yes. Out there, big, wide place, okay? Take a place where the sun is shining clearly and it's easy to see shadows, okay? So don't do this in a field of high grass or something like that, but go to a flat place uh, where you can clearly see the shadow of the sun, okay? where it's easy for the whole shadow of the sun to appear, charwa, okay? Go to that kind of place, then get your turma, okay? Now turma, nowadays it means spoon, okay? Nowadays turma means spoon for eating, okay? But in the Vinaya, turma means a special stick and it should be sorshi, four finger widths. Sun, okay. Sun sit, sun sit. Yeah. And so, how do you say? Sun. Yeah, sun sit, sit. Sun. Four si sun. Si oh, sun si Okay. <laughs> it should be this long. Okay. Should be this long. Okay. Stick should be this long. Somebody has to find a stick, which is, which is, and this has stick has two names in the Vinaya. The stick has two separate names. Okay. One is Turma Sorshi, 
of four fingers thick. Okay. <laughs> One name for the stick in the Vinaya is a four finger stick. Okay. Another name is a shadow measuring stick, Jiptsu. Okay. Jiptsu. So this arm means or you can call it. So it's a four finger stick, arm, or you can say a shadow measuring stick. Okay. Dip means shadow. So means measure, take measure. Okay. Cell means go and look for one. This is like the cell and chalk cell. They are related. Go and look for this kind of stick. Okay. Use the stick to nepache. Nepache means determine, to decide which part of the day it is. Okay. So typically there were, I don't know, 12 or eight watches of the day, you know, like early morning, mid morning, late morning, noon, early afternoon, afternoon, late afternoon, early evening, like that. Okay. That's called the period of the day, Nimmo Cha. So use your stick to determine Nepache, which, which watch of the day. We call watch in English, which part of the day is it, okay? Now, some questions should come up in your mind. What's that? How do you do it at nighttime? Nice. Or when it's raining. Oh, uh, he's gonna cover both right now. Okay. Semmo means nighttime. Okay. Well, what are we gonna do if it's if it's nighttime? Okay, Yina. Then you should get a person, okay, who understands Shepa. Okay. You should find some guys who understand the stars. <laughs> Okay, uh, guys who understand the stars, Mikkar, the visible stars. Okay, uh, go find some guys who understand the stars. Okay, then Dawa Kangla Gyuga Kangit Senkyal. They should pe be people who understand that the certain stars that are always in the sky on certain months. Okay. They should say like Jupiter was out tonight or, you know, Ariel was out tonight. So therefore it must be the third month of the year. Okay. You can judge the month from the stars. If you know the stars, Mikkar. Okay. I don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Sankhya means a whole night stars. Gyukar means running star. Okay. Gyukar means running star and that means regular stars in the sky actually not planets okay planets move on a different schedule like venus jupiter they move through the sky on their own schedule okay because they're turning around our sun but all the other stars are you know as the earth turns it looks like the other stars are moving right so actually the earth is turning but all the stars above us look like they are turning. In the whole night, they turn like this, okay? That's called Gyukar, okay? Turning stars, turning stars. So somebody who understands which stars are visible in which months, all night, Senkyo, okay? Uh, they should uh, do a, what's that, Garkong? I made a note. Oh, yeah. They should. Bak means, you guys know, you guys know J Bak Tema, right? Uh, deduction. This Bak means take a judgment, take a reading, take a reading of the stars, read the stars, okay? Bak, the, uh, the constellations, okay? Karkong. So somebody should check where are the constellations, meaning the groups of stars, how are they positioned, okay? How are the groups of stars positioned in the stars which are turning, okay? Gyukar, okay? And from all of those star information, you should determine, Nyepacha, 
With that chair. Which period of the night was it? We give you cash or more. Whoa. Okay. So somebody has to say, somebody who understands the stars has to say, this guy became a monk in the first of the six watches of the night. So it means period of the night. Okay. So we can't get the hour. Okay. We're not going to get the hour. We're not going to say he became a monk at 10 p.m. Okay. We're not going to say that. But we can divide the whole night into five or six parts. And from the stars, we can tell he became a monk in the third part of the night or something like that. So that's called Semetunsu. Okay. That's our uh, time. Wait, Gendula. wait, we have one or more like sentence. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So somebody asked, what do we do at night? And then somebody else said, what do we do if it's overcast, if there's clouds in the sky? Okay, I'm going to read this sentence for you, okay? Thank you. Everything I just told you depends on clear skies. Tangba means clear skies. Okay, everything I just described to you, the shadow thing depends on clear skies, no, no clouds. And the nighttime thing I just told you about depends on a person who knows the constellations of the stars, okay? Wang to Che, that all applies to that. But what about Min? If it's not that way. Yeah, what if there's not a clear sky? And what if you don't have any astrology guys with you? Mm -hmm. Okay, what are you gonna do then? Rakpa. It's, we just take a rough calculation of uh, yeah. When just somebody about. should guess what time of day is it? <laughs> okay, like some honest person, I guess they should say, "I think it's about three o'clock." Okay, I think it. Rakpa means just estimate the time. Rakpa time. Okay, and then you will have marked the time that the candidate got his vows. Yay! Finished. Okay. okay. All right, time for sushi. Thank you. Joshing me top jam. We love Ning Shi Ning Deg and Party. Sanke Shing do me te uagi. Jokun nam da shing la chupa sho. Idam guru nam da mandala kam niya tayami. Kewa di keu kun. Sunam yeshe zozo shin. Sunam yeshe le jungwe. Dampa kungi topa sho. Xiaoping, what's coming up next? Uh, it, uh, Bums, a private meeting. Yeah. Yoga okay. meeting, Gishlab. Yoga's at 10.15. No, no, no. I mean, what's coming up next in Xiaoping's text? Well, each of the vows for love for a monk. Yeah, we have, no. Before that, we're going to give him advice on how to keep his vows. Oh, okay. Nice. He's not, he's not free yet. <laughs> okay. We have to give him advice. And there's, I think, 11 advices. It's very interesting. Okay. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's 11 advices. He's going to get different, 11 different advices. Okay. Okay. Very excited. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Geshela. Thank you, Geshela. So thank we're lucky to have thank a, you. Uh, YSI sponsored yoga class today with um, Vimala at 10.15. She's a good yoga teacher. Let's so please come. Okay. All right. See you. Uh, see you there, and then see you again at five for class. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.